What's going on guys? We are back with some Ravens franchise and this is what it all comes down to. Here's the situation guys. If we can get this win, we automatically get into the playoffs and win the AFC North. But if we fall, we have a chance of not making the playoffs altogether. As if the Jaguars defeat the Colts today, they will be taking that wild card spot and we will not make the playoffs. So it's all coming down to this week, whether or not we make the playoffs or whether or not our season is successful. So we'll see what happens. Adam Jones to return, taking it across the 25 and down at the 26. So that will bring on Andy Dalton and the Cincinnati Bengals offense. Dalton having one of his best seasons of his career, probably his best season by far, having a very solid year. So here's the Bengals offense for their first play of the game. It's a play action. Dalton feeling pressure. He's still going to launch it deep and he overthrows everybody. Pretty lucky that wasn't intercepted. So third and six now for the Bengals. Trying to keep the drive going. Pressure coming. Launches it right. And that's cut. But his man steps out of bounds. That is Pierman. And he's two yards shy of the first down. So they'll punt. So here is Joe Flacco trying to lead the Ravens to one last victory. And the AFC North champ Championship. Here's the pass right. Caught by Pierman but doesn't go for a large gain, about 8 on that one. So third and 3 here, Flacco taking the snap, throwing it left, there's an open man, it's Wallace and he dives for the first down, he'll get it. The Ravens keep the chains moving here on their first drive. Flacco staying in the shotgun, he's going to go hand off to West, trying to cut it right, and he's taken down after a gain of about 6 or 7 on that carry. So third and 4 for the Ravens now. Flacco taking the snap from the shotgun, going to throw it right and... Knocked off of Pitta's helmet, and he somehow was able to make the catch, but he lost yardage on it. So that play will not amount for anything. Ravens will punt it back. Here's Sam Cook to punt. And the punt is off, and Sam Cook was hit as he punted that one. Punted that one. That is obviously a roughing the kicker penalty, and the Ravens will get the ball back here. A terrible penalty to take right there by whoever that was on the Bengals. And it looked like it was a defensive back. It was Sean Williams just taking down Sam Cook. Ravens will keep the drive alive. Flacco now plenty of time to throw. And that's intercepted. So as soon as the Ravens get the football back, they make a huge mistake. And Adam Jones, his 20th career interception, taking it away from Joe Flacco. And this is just a poor throw from Flacco. Ill-advised. As he saw Wallace breaking on that outrun, he just threw it too late. Good coverage by Jones. Just a late throw from Flacco results in an interception. And the Bengals have the ball going back the other way. So great field position after that interception. Here goes Rex Burkhead, who actually killed us in our first meeting, but the Bengals. And here he is taking it across for a solid gain on that one. So in motion is Hewitt. Handoff goes back to Burkhead. A huge hole and tries to spin. Not sure why he cut it back inside. Had plenty of room around the outside, but he's got the first down anyway. So second and six, offset eye, another motioning man. Dropping back to pass is Dalton, rolling out left, going to throw it left. That's caught and taken down at about the 23. It is Tyler Croft, I believe, but it's third and one now. Dalton going to throw on third and one, pressure coming all over the field from Baltimore, and he's forced to get rid of it. So good blitz right there from Baltimore. And the Bengals will settle for three, and they take a lead. So Ravens offense back on the field. Flacco passing out right. That's caught by Perriman. And he's taken down after a short pickup. So third and four coming up. Trying to keep their second drive alive now. Pressure coming off. Flacco lost the football. Recovered by Michael Johnson. He's into the end zone. And wow. What a sequence of events right there. As the Bengals all of a sudden have a two possession lead. As is Rick Wagner giving up the pressure to Carlos Dunlap. And you can... Be sure by now that Wick Wagner is not going to be back on the team. The only reason he wasn't benched this year is because we didn't have a proper replacement for him. But fortunately, he's going to not be on the team next year. Well, we'll see. Here's the screen pass to Mike Wallace. Good block up front, and Wallace is taking it across up to 45. So solid catch and run on the screen pass to Mike Wallace. Second and 12 for Baltimore. Flacco in the shotgun. West behind him. Passing over the middle. Caught by Wallace, and Wallace lost the football. But it's recovered by Baltimore. So Wallace is doing a quick in route. And he was hit pretty hard. But fortunately he recovered his own football. So third and seven. 
Flacco feeling pressure, throwing it short. That's Perriman on the catch. And I don't think he got it. It looked like he was well short. But they're going to give it to him. And that's a surprising spot right there by the refs. But the Bengals won't challenge. We'll just take it. So here's a play action. Flacco dropping back. Was hit as he throws. But that's caught by Mike Wallace. What a catch by Wallace in traffic. Somehow able to haul that in. And that will be over 1,000 receiving yards for him on the season. So congratulations to Mike Wallace. Here's the handoff to Terrence West. Great blocking up front. And Gilmore can't get to the second level and make the final te final block. Excuse me, But West still picks up a solid gain. We're inside the red zone now and it's second and ten. I form handoff to West and great run defense right there by the Bengals. Bringing him down quickly. So one last play to end the first quarter. Flacco takes a snap. Pressure coming. Throws it. Caught by Pitta. And he might have been short of the marker right there. Yes, he was fourth in inches. So the Ravens will bring on the field goal team instead of going for it here. Justin Tucker has been knocked down all year. Just missed only four field goals all season long. And he knocks in another one right there. That is 41 of 45 for Justin Tucker this year. What a season. So second and 10 for the Bengals. Here's the handoff to Rex Burkhead. Explodes to the middle and taken down. Picks up another solid gain. So third and two now for the Bengals coming up. Staying in the offset eye. Here's another handoff to Burkhead. Great blocks up front. Burkhead makes a move. And he's taken down to the ground, but not before picking up the first down and keeping the chains moving. So Burkhead continues to be solid here. Second and nine. Bengals will go once again to Burkhead. Burkhead takes it up front. Great blocking. Just follows his blockers. He has great vision, and he's able to find the marker. Crossing 500 rushing yards on the season with that run right there. So Dalton dropping back to pass, caught over the middle, that is Brandon LaFell, and he's brought down inside the Ravens' territory. So the Bengals starting to close in, here's another offset eye look, handoff back to Burkhead, and Burkhead is dragged to the ground by a couple of Ravens defenders, C.J. Mosley in there. So third and five, here's a play action to Pierman. Dalton plenty of time to throw, launching it downfield, and it's caught by Tyler Boyd, and Boyd powers forward up to the 12-yard line. What a pass right there from Andy Dalton anticipating the throw and putting it on the money. So here's Burkhead getting the handoff and he's taken down. That's Zach Orr making the play in the backfield. Zach Orr and CJ Mosley have been the best inside linebacker tandem this year, combining the most tackles in the NFL is here as they throw that goes out of bounds. And the Ravens will get the ball back as the Bengals tack on another three points. 13-3 is the lead. So here's the handoff to Dixon up the middle. And Dixon picks up about five on that carry. So third and five now for Baltimore. Trying to keep it moving. Passing left. That's caught by Wallace. And Wallace is out of bounds. But he has the first down. Ravens keep going. Ravens need a little bit of spark here as they're down by ten. It's first and twenty after a holding call. Here's a play action. Pressure coming. And Flacco's taken to the ground. Terrence Williams bringing him down. On a little bit of a... Nickel blitz right there, and Flacco was did not see it at all. It was as it was on his blind side. So here's the third and 22, rolling out right, throwing across his body, and that is a dangerous throw. Lucky that was an intercepted. It hits the ground, and the Ravens will have to punt. So 5:40 remaining in the half. Dalton takes a snap, quick pass over the middle, wide open man. That's Rex Burkhead, and he'll have the first down. Burkhead, such a versatile back, can get it done with some power, some finesse, and can get it done in the receiving game. Here's a delayed handoff to Burkhead. Makes one man miss. And there's that finesse I was talking about. Rex Burkhead, just a solid running back in general. So Pierman in the backfield now for third and four. Dalton dropping back. Was hit as he throws. And that's a good stop right there made by C.J. Mosley taking down Pierman before he can pick up the first down. But the Bengals keep the offense on the field here on fourth and two. Here's a flag. And that's dropped. And that's dropped by Uzama. Fourth and two, but there was a flag on the play, and we'll see who's on. It's a holding against the Bengals, so the Ravens will take that. They'll get ball back immediately. So Flacco rolling left, and he sacked Ronnie Stanley, giving up the pressure. And nowhere for Flacco to go on that one as Michael Johnson brings him down. The Bengals already three sacks here in the first half compared to the Ravens' zero. Here's third and 16. Flacco throwing it well short of the marker and Perriman is brought down quickly. The Bengals will use a timeout as they try to strike one more time before the half ends. Empty tray look. Passing 
right, that's caught by Uzama, and Uzama takes it across the first down marker, and he's got it. So from their own 35, here's Dalton in the shotgun, taking the snap, plenty of time to throw, finds a wide open man, and he's close to the marker, not sure if he got it though, and they will not give it to him second in inches. So Dalton from the shotgun again, passing over the middle on a slant route that's caught by LaFell, and LaFell has the first down, the Bengals will use their second timeout. So second and 10, 55 seconds remaining. Dalton takes the snap. Plenty of time, no pressure at all. Finally com coming now. Dalton rolling out right and he's nearly sacked. Just got, but the, just got the ball out. And that is Timmy Jernigan once again applying the pressure. He's been excellent here in the last few games of the season. Here's Dalton taking the snap once again from the shotgun. Third and 10, pressure coming and he's sacked. Elvis Doomerville getting to the quarterback. And make that 19 and a half sacks on the season. What a year for the veteran edge rusher rebounding after a disappointing season last year. So the Ravens, one more chance here. Flacco going to throw it, caught by Pitta, and Pitta's taken down at about the 42. So the Ravens will try to set up a Hail Mary attempt here for Joe Flacco. We'll see if they're successful. Flacco dropping back, throwing over the middle, and Steve Smith fumbles! And it's recovered by Cincinnati. It's Williams on top of it. So Steve Smith... A bad fumble right there at the end of the half would have set up a Hail Mary attempt at the very least, but Smith just loses it. But what can you do? The Ravens are down by 10 here now, heading into halftime. So we'll see what they can do at the half to make some adjustments. They need to have a better second half if they want to win this football game. We'll see exactly what they do. So as you guys can see, the Bengals just dominating in most categories. Three takeaways, 56 rushing yards, and obviously they're leading the game. But we do get ball first here in the second half. Here's the handoff to West, follows his blockers, and picks up solid yardage on that carry. The NFL's leading rusher continues to play very well. So Flacco takes a snap, plenty of time to throw, great protection, and he's going to take off by himself, running it across the the 40 and takes it up to the 44 so nice decision right there for Flacco to scramble he's got the first down second and nine pressure not hold, pressure getting there and he's passing left that's caught by Pitta short game Dennis Pitta coming off a really good day last week so here's Flacco rolling out left launching it and that's caught by Steve Smith how did Flacco do that somehow he put that right on the money for Steve Smith while he was under pressure Throwing on the run in a weird position, but a good pass right there from Flacco. Second and ten, here's the handoff to Dixon, and Dixon finds nowhere to go on that run. So third and ten for Baltimore. Flacco going with a play action, and he's sacked! Fontes Burfick and Carlos Dunlap both getting there. A blitz sent from Cincinnati, and Flacco's taken down. So second and ten, here's the handoff up the middle. And there's nowhere to go at all for Rex Burkett taking down quickly. Third and ten, look. Dalton goes play action. Pressure coming, and he's sacked! That is Timmy Jernigan disengaging and taking him down. And like I said, Timmy Jernigan continues to play very, very good football. Here's a play action. Trying to roll out right, and he's sacked! Flacco taken down by Carlos Dunlap. That's two and a half sacks. That's Dunlap. Reaches double-digit sacks for the season as Rick Magner continues to play a very bad game. Flacco launching it over the middle. What a pass on third and 22, but unfortunately, just not enough room for Perriman to operate. So the Ravens will punt. Play action here for Dalton. Standing tall in the pocket. Now going to launch it deep downfield, and Tavon Young knocks it away. And Tavon Young continues to be excellent in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Just making plays on the football. He's going to be a solid cornerback for the future, that's for sure. So Dalton taking the snap. Pressure coming as a screen pass was set up. And it was covered well by Baltimore, so he'll have to throw it away. So first and ten now for Baltimore from their own four-yard line. Here's the handoff to West, and that's a good run stop from George Iloka. So third and six for Baltimore. They need to pick up this first down. Just need a spark offensively. Passing right, that's caught by Steve Smith, but well short of the marker. And the Ravens, once again, will boot it back to the Cincinnati Bengals offense. 
So once again, offset eye. Here's a good play action. Got Judon for sure. Here's the pass over the middle. Caught by Uzuma. But he's short of the marker. So third and one coming up. So here's the handoff to Burkhead. Burkhead following his blockers. Nice move and Burkhead has the first down. So somehow Burkhead makes 10 yards out of that run. And he's got the first down. So late third quarter here. Trying to punch it into the end zone are the Bengals. And Dalton is sacked. Timmy Jernigan making yet another play here in the passing game. He's been excellent today. Third and 15. Dalton in the shotgun takes a snap. Pierman trying to block for him, but he can't pick up Doomerville as he gets in there for yet another sack. Doomerville continues to be excellent today as well. The Ravens, defensive line, starting to step up. Flacco stepping up in the pocket himself. Here he goes, and tracked down by a few Bengals defenders right there. So third and four for Baltimore. Need to keep the drive alive. Flacco stepping up in the pocket. He's going to take off again, and he's got room for the first down. He's going to pick it up. So Flacco putting his body on the line and picking up first downs here. Like to see that. Second and seven for Baltimore. Flacco takes a snap from the shotgun, passing over the middle, caught by Wallace, and Wallace runs for the first down. The Ravens keep it moving. Second and ten. West in the backfield. It's a play action. Flacco passing left. Caught by West. West breaks one tackle, but he's taken down by Bontez Burfick at the 42-yard line. So third and three for Baltimore. Here's the handoff to West over up the middle. And West powering forward. And I'm not sure if he got it. And no, he didn't. Fourth and inches. Ravens obviously keeping the offense on the field. Here's the toss to West. And West picks up the first down, makes a man miss, and takes it up to the 49 there in Bengals territory. So the toss play works, and the Ravens keep moving. Here's a delayed handoff to West, and West is tracked down before he can pick up significant yardage. So third and 11 coming up here. Ravens trying to keep it moving, pass over the middle, quick pass. It's caught by Kamar Aiken. And fourth and five coming up. Ravens staying on the on the field. Here's the pass caught by Gilmore, and I don't think he got it. No, he was right on the marker, and the referees are going to rule it. Not a first down, and the Bengals will take over again. And the AFC North is looking in jeopardy as you guys look down in the ticker. You guys can see the Jaguars are leading the Colts by 7 here in the fourth quarter. So our playoff chance is looking even slimmer and slimmer as this game goes on. So we'll just have to focus on this game and try to get the win. Here's the handoff to Rex Burkhead, and Burkhead has the first down. So second and ten coming up. Burkhead stays in the backfield. He's going to get the handoff, and a good run stop right there from Zachary Orr. And third and long coming up. So eight yards to go for the first down. Dalton dropping back, passing over the middle. Wide open, man, that's Tyler Boyd. And Boyd has the first down. And John Harbaugh expressing visible frustration here. As you cannot believe that they've only put up three points. Late fourth quarter now the Ravens need to find a way to get the offense back on the field. As third and ten they finally make a stop. So the Bengals field goal unit on the field is Mike Nugent. His kick is up. And it's short. No good. So the Ravens have good field position and two timeouts. They need ten points here in one minute and nine seconds. Only two timeouts left. They need to put up a score here and then get an onside kick. It's going to require a miracle, but we'll, we'll see what they can do. Flacco passing left, and that's dropped by Dennis Pitta. So, obviously some frustration boiling through this offense right now. Flacco taking the snap. Dropping back to pass, and he's sacked. Michael Johnson. Both of our tackles have been atrocious in today's game. But Flacco's got to stay focused. Fourth and seven, launching it. And what a catch by Brashad Perriman. Somehow able to hold that one in. Over a couple defenders going up top and bringing it in. And this is exactly what the Ravens needed to keep the drive alive. Flacco taking the snap. Pressure coming. Passing over the middle. Aiken wide open and he makes the catch. So the Ravens use their final timeout with 25 seconds left. Trying to punch this into the end zone. 15 seconds now. Third and 10. Flacco takes the snap. Passing over the middle. That's caught by Aiken and he lost it. He lost the football recovered by Cincinnati and that's going to do it. The Cincinnati Bengals look to be the AFC North champions after a terrible fumble right there from Kamar Aiken and any chance the Ravens had of coming back.
is eliminated with one fumble and one quick play. And that will do it. John Harbaugh obviously frustrated. The Bengals are AFC North champions. And Joe Flacco just can't believe it. Just an incredible stretch at the end of the season for the Ravens. And it could all come crashing down because of one bad game. But we'll see what happens. Obviously, the bank, excuse me, the Jaguars do need to lose their football game for us to make the playoffs. So we'll see what happens. But right now, I am concerned after a really bad game from the offense. The defense kept us in the game for the most part. But now we, do, our destiny is not in our hands. We have to rely on the Jaguars losing their, or excuse me, yes, losing their game to the Colts. But they were up by seven with eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. So here is the moment of truth, folks. We'll see what exactly happens. Wild card week. And it looks like we have made the playoffs. We will face off against the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium for wild card weekend. And wow. And the Jaguars somehow lose the football game 17 to 23. They were up 17 to 10 and they blow a seven point lead late in the fourth quarter. And that will do it. We are playoff bound, folks. Let's go. I hope you guys are excited because I am extremely excited for what is to come. I'll see you guys later. Peace.